so guys so guys so guys so guys so guys boom welcome back to another episode of juice may tv it's your boy juice may hoops and today we have something to talk about bryce maximus james now i don't know if you guys have been seeing these crazy viral videos going around about bryce james you know dunking on people hitting these crazy threes dominating every single game i don't know if you guys have been seeing that but if you haven't just take a look at some of these clips and let me know what you guys think down below <laughs> This video is going to be pretty juicy. Make sure y'all subscribe to the channel and turn the post notifications on. Let's see if we can get this video to like 500 likes or just, just, just get it a lot of likes, like three likes or something. So boom. Now, I don't know if you guys are aware, but Bryce James is currently a freshman in high school at Sierra Canyon High School. And I believe he's a, I believe he's either 14 or 15. I'm not sure. I have to double check. And I do know something that a lot of people has actually been going crazy about is the fact that he's already 6'3 or 6'4. To me, that's honestly kind of crazy that a 14, 15 year old kid is already that height. But I mean, he does have that LeBron James jeans. He does have that Bronny jeans. So, so it is expected. So I'm honestly not too going too crazy about that. Now guys, like I said, the whole premise of this video, the whole point of this video is the fact that is what we were talking about at the beginning of the video. Bryce James, there, these videos that have been going around with Bryce James with him dominating all these games. But I don't know if a lot of people realize if I'm not mistaken, correct me if I'm wrong. These video highlight clips are JV basketball clips. Guys, like I said, let me know down below if I'm wrong, or at least from what I'm seeing from the videos, these the players that he's playing look like little kids. They don't look like, you know, super varsity. They don't look like the players that Bronny James was playing whenever he was a freshman. It's kind of pretty much what I'm trying to say. So with, with, with that seeing what I'm seeing here, it looks like Bryce James is playing JV. Now there's nothing wrong with that, guys. There's nothing wrong with Bryce James playing jv don't get this video twisted i'm not saying that he's a bad player i'm not saying none of that all i'm saying and what i'm personally confused about i've just never i just don't remember the last time that we were actually hyping up a kid for going off on jv guys there's so many players out there that play jv i'm sure you watching this video i'm sure we all know a kid on jv that's just a jv basketball player junior varsity we don't ever i've just personally never seen the masses in the media go crazy for a kid going off on jv but i do get that it is bryce james so you know the highlights are going to come out people are going to talk about it this this and that now one thing that i'm just confused about is i just don't understand why a lot of people are just kind of hyping him up as far as just going off saying he's the best freshman in the country this this and that he should be top 10 I mean, guys, I feel like that's something that we just need to pump the brakes on because Bryce has not played varsity basketball. He just hasn't. It's just the fact that he has not played on the same team as Bronny James, who is playing this national schedule at Sierra Canyon. Now, is he, is Bryce James ready? Do you guys actually feel like Bryce is James is ready? Comment down below. I really want to know what you guys think about that. Now, to me, Bronny James, as much as people were getting flack with Bronny saying he wasn't aggressive, he wasn't doing this. I actually personally think that Bronny at the same age as Bryce was a lot more developed. He was a lot more athletic. He was a lot more mobile. He had a better understanding of the game, a lot more IQ. I feel like that's the reason why Bronny was actually playing on varsity despite not playing the most minutes. I just feel like he was definitely far more advanced than, than Bryce was at that same age. So that's just something to think about. What do you guys actually think about though? Do you think Bryce is better than Bronny at that age or do you think Bronny is better? What do you guys think down below? I wanna see how he would actually play on that varsity level. Do you guys think he would get exposed? Do you think he would get buckets? From what I've personally seen, it looks like Bryce can actually shoot the ball. So that's something that I feel like his role would probably be for that Sierra Canyon National or varsity team, whatever you wanna call it. No matter what, I'm the Bryce James to me, from what I've seen, he can shoot the ball. He has a good understanding of the game. I just don't think he's physically there yet to to withstand the defensive end and just go get buckets in a one-on-one -on -one situation off the dribble. I feel like right now in this moment of time, if he were to play varsity, he'd probably be more of a catch and shoot type of player. Now he is 6'3, but I haven't seen that just aggressive. That's just that's uh, you know factor from Bryce James, even on the even on the JV level. But moral of the story of what I'm trying to say, I just feel like people just 
probably just need to pump the brakes a little bit. Let's just not go too overboard. I do understand that it is Bryce James. Nobody in this room is hating on this man, Bryce James. I think Bryce has a tremendous future. He can shoot the ball already. LeBron even said he's the shooter of the family. And what I've seen, it looks like he's going to be a great player once things just start piecing up together. I just want to see how he would play on that varsity level. That's all I'm saying. I just want people just to slow down and just pump the brakes. Just don't get too ahead of themselves. I do understand that he is this tall player at his age, which honestly is pretty normal for for even like eighth graders to be 6'5 now. Like you see it, there's another fifth grade, you know, seven foot two guy. Like you just, I, I don't know what people are eating nowadays. It's 2022, anything is possible. Yeah, like I said, I just want people to pump the brakes a little bit. Let's be realistic. Don't put too much expectations on this man, Bryce James, because at the end of the day, he is a human being. He is a kid. So let's just be patient with this man, Bryce James, and let's not put all this pressure. He has to make it to the league. He has to do this. I'm just really interested to see just how he's going to de develop in these next few years. Yeah, like I said, what do you guys actually think about Bron uh, Bryce James um, so far in his freshman year? Do you think it's weird that people are hyping up these JV highlights? What do you, how do you think he would play on the varsity level? Do you think he would get exposed? Do you think he would get buckets? What do you guys think down below? Just comment down below. Let's get a great basketball conversation started. Yeah, with all that being said, guys, thank you if you made it to the end. Please, 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 please smash that like button. If you guys want more, you know, drama videos, if you guys want more videos like this, if you guys want the old juice, man, who's back, man, let me know down below. Guys, make sure you guys are following me on Instagram. Please smash that like button. Please subscribe to the channel. Do all that fun stuff. Make sure you guys actually hit the links in the description. And yeah, with all that being said, guys, thank you for watching. It's been another episode of Juice Made TV. Peace.